another big horn hole. Well, we have made it this far. And God is still good. Amen. Pray for our country. Pray for our leaders. Pray for these young people that are out in the streets. That they'll have some sense about them. More than anything, ladies and gentlemen, more than anything, what we face in our country today, the answer is Jesus. Amen. So if you have your Bible, Psalms, the 51st chapter. Is this my phrasing this up hurt you in? Okay. Psalms 51. If you have your Bibles this morning. We will look starting with the seventh verse. And I am reading from a teacher from the new international version of the Bible via the King James the wording be just a tad bit different but we all end up in the same place together Psalms chapter 51 verse 7 cleanse me with high sop and I will be clean wash me and I'll be whiter than snow now look at what David says here in verse 8 let me hear joy and gladness let the bones you have crushed rejoice hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take the Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your way so that sinners will turn back to you. Let's pray together. Father, speak to our hearts. Let us hear your words and yours alone. Speak to us this morning. Maybe somebody here today has lost their joy. Let today be a day where we renew our faith and commitment in the Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody said amen. Remember, do you remember what it was like the first time you walked the, the very day that you walked the aisle and you got saved? Do you remember that? You remember what church you were in? Do you remember how you felt, that how God was moving in your life, and how you got up there and you found out that you prayed the sinner's prayer, your sins were forgiven, and God had uh, had done a work in your life, and He had changed you and saved you, and uh, we sometimes we 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 allowed the things of this world to um, to remove the joy of being a Christian very moment we had a desire in our heart when we got saved we've been burdened down with sins for so long we've been frustrated about the uh, life and then we met Jesus and he forgave us and he cleansed us and we had joy and we wanted to tell the world that Jesus saves so let me ask you do you feel that same way today do you feel excited about your salvation do you feel excited about the fact that you're a Christian do we tell others that Jesus is the answer? Ladies and gentlemen, we see what's going on in our world today with everything that's happening. Everything, not just the uh, rioting and all that stuff, but everything, totality. We see what's going on in the world today. And all I can think is when I watch the news is that the world desperately needs a revival and a return to our first love, which is Jesus Christ. <laughs> We need a hope that is found in Christ. We need the assurance that is found in Christ. But more than that, ladies and gentlemen, we need, a, we need to rekindle the joy. David says here, if you look at your Bibles here this morning, David says here in um, chapter 51, wind blew my page. 51 and verse 12, look at that, 51 verse 12, restore to me the joy of your salvation. David, if you remember the story of David, David was anointed king, and uh, but he, he was going to be the future king, but it wasn't yet time. Saul was still the king, and David served under him, and, and Saul, one moment like David, the next moment he tried to kill David. David was on the run for a long time, and I can imagine 
imagine being out and running around trying to keep your life intact until God has the time for you to step forward. It had to be exhausting on David. David knew what he had heard when, when the mantle was placed upon him that he would be king of Israel. But there had to be days that when he was living in a cave and hiding from Saul that it felt like God wasn't near. That it felt like God, uh, what he heard in his, in his life wasn't true. He maybe felt like God was so far away that how in the world will I ever accomplish what he said I was going to accomplish? How will, he, will I do what he says I can do? And he says, Lord, I've lost the joy of being a Christian. I've lost the joy of being saved. And so he says, restore to me the joy. Ladies and gentlemen, there are to be a joy about us being a Christian. There are to be a difference when we walk in the room simply because we carry the Holy Spirit of God within us. We are to be the, we are to be happy and smiling. Lord, I know things have not been good over these last few months. 2020 did not work out so far the way I thought it would. 2020 didn't work out so far the way I had planned. 2020 hasn't treated us all that well when we've been people have been laid off and people have lost incomes and people have had their stores closed and people have had uh, all kinds of problems but we stand yet here on the verge of the sixth month of 2020 and we're still standing praise God <laughs> Sometimes we get out of bed and we're grumpy. Sometimes we get out of bed and we don't want to face the day. But David, after all he'd been through, restore to me the joy of my salvation. Folks, that's why we gather here this morning. That's why we do what we do. It's because we've been saved by the, by the creator of the universe stepped out of time and space and entered into humanity, died on a cross at Calvary for the forgiveness of our sins. And when we, we accepted him, he placed his spirit within us. And thus we know he'll never leave us nor forsake us because he's in us. So our joy, oh, I know things get tough and I know things get hard. And I know some days it don't feel like it's worth it. 
don't ever forget that we serve a risen Savior. We serve a God of the impossible. We serve a God who will meet our needs. We look around sometimes and think, you know what, I don't have this and I don't have that and I don't have the money that they got or, or the possessions that somebody else has got. Ladies and gentlemen, when we, when we think about all those things, listen, one of these days we're going to leave here and we're not going to take a narrow thing with us. It's not about your position or the, your money. It's about joy of being Christian and knowing that what Jesus said in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. Uh, and then if I go to prepare a place, I will come and receive you unto myself that where I am you may be also. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I said it before. You may not have two nickels to rub together, but if you know Jesus as your personal Savior, if you've placed your faith and trust in God, you are rich indeed. Your father owns a cattle on a thousand hills, and you've got a home waiting for you in heaven. Don't give up when you're halfway there. Don't give up when you're three-quarters of the way there. Don't give up in the last mile. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a joy to, of knowing that we're going to heaven. There's a heaven to shun, and a, a heaven to gain, and a hell to shun. Ladies and gentlemen, don't quit now because God hasn't quit on you. He says in verse 10, I want you to look at verse 10. Create in me, create in me a pure heart. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. These last weeks are some of the most difficult weeks that I have done in ministry because of the uncertainty of what we're facing and how we handle things and how we keep people safe and people going through surgeries and operations and you can't go to the hospital and be, be with them you can't visit with them and all these things we, re, we need a renewal this morning of a steadfast spirit that says no matter what I face I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. What's the next words? No turning back. No turning back. We need to renew this morning. We need to renew our spirit. We need to have a renewal this morning as we ask God to touch us as we ask God to be with us as we ask God to be in us and as we ask God to help us look beyond the momentary and look to the eternal this too will pass and the thing you face will eventually be over of God we're still here don't let the world bring you down don't let the television news bring you down I know when I, I was up I didn't sleep very well last night so I was up and down and I turned on the news at 11 and I turned on the news at 2 and it was as bad at 2 as it was at 11 things were going on around the country and sometimes you just shake your head and think man we're, we're so far gone but I'm here to tell you this morning, listen to me close, that while we see troubles in the world, Jesus is still on the throne. Jesus is still the answer. Jesus is still the way, the truth, and the life. And it's still true that no man's going to get to heaven except through Jesus Christ. Christ. Look at verse 13 and I'll close. Then I will teach 
transgressors your way. Well, look at what David says. He says, Lord, don't just restore the joy in me for me. Restore the joy so that I can be beneficial to others. Then I will teach transgressors your way so that sinners will turn back to you. David said, let my life be renewed. Let my life be renewed, my spirit be renewed, so that when people run across me, they are, they are not just uh, uh, running across some person, they're running across somebody who carries the Holy Spirit of God in them, and that they, when they see me, they want what I've got. They want what I've got. They want to be a part of the kingdom of God. What's different about you? Why do you act this way? Why do you have hope? Why have you not given up? Why are you not worried that your business is not doing the well as well as it could have? Why are you not worried that we're all getting laid off? Why are you not worried about that bill that you're not sure that you're going to pay? And then you tell them, I'm not worried because I serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I serve the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. My Father owns a cattle on a thousand hills. He's going to bless me. He's going to provide for me. He promised He'd never leave me nor forsake me. He's in me. He's with me. He's working through me. And there's nothing that this world can throw at me that can remove the love of God from me. And so whatever I face, I'm going to face it with joy knowing that God is still God. Where's your spirit at this morning? brought three pages of notes and never used an air one of them. Where's your spirit at this morning? I want you to be honest. Right there in your car, I want you to think about things this morning. Has this whole thing just sort of got you down? It's easy to. Turn on that television set, man, and go to the news channel. And there's enough stuff going on right now to discourage every one of us. all across the world, all across this country, the answer still remains the same. Jesus is the solution to every obstacle we face in this life. I saw the, the uh, sights of looting. Some of y'all probably saw that. The looting going on, running into Best Buys and people packing out television sets. And then I saw uh, somebody they, burnt, they busted in a liquor store. They were carrying out cases of liquor. But I got news for them. When they get done to that last bottle of that liquor they still going to have the same problems they had before they got it. They're still going to have the same issues that they're going to deal with. That liquor may drown it out for a little while. It may drown it out for a moment. But when they sober up they come back to the same problem. We don't have to get high on drugs. We don't have to get high on liquor. What we need to do as the body of Christ is get high on the fact of Jesus is the way. So I'm asking you today, where's your spirit? Maybe today you need that renewal inside of you. But you've lost hope in humanity. You've lost hope maybe you're not just you know you're not completely desperate or down and out but just inside maybe over the last little bit you've been down and disgusted and frustrated about everything that's going on renew it renew your spirit with the Lord this morning God cleanse me of my sins and give to me a steadfast spirit that no matter what I face I will stay close to the cross I will clean to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday, what does it say? For a crown. Father, renew in me my spirit. Don't let me, listen, don't get over worried about the bills. Don't get over worried about the jobs, what's coming down the pipe. Put your faith in Christ. Joy. Joys, have joy. When you walk in the room, they know something's different. When 
you walk in the store, they know something's different. When you go to your job, they know something is different. Father, speak to our hearts this morning. 